Today we're going to go over how to use the generic radio menus and set them up in your project. I've started a default third person template and let's get started. First thing we need to do is get some input going because without the input your radio menus aren't going to work. Second we're going to go over creating the widget because without the widget you know there's no point in setting up the input. And then we can look at using some functions and events to get our radio menus doing something. All right, so I'm gonna create a folder real quick. I'm gonna call this blueprints because this is where we're gonna put all of our blueprints that we need to use. And I'm gonna set the color to blue so that it's easier to pick out. And we're gonna need a game mode you can either use game mode base or game mode. We'll just use base for now. And we're going to call this demo game mode. We're also going to need a player controller class. If you already have these in your project, then just use those. And let's see. We'll just start with that. So for our demo game mode, we're going to go into it and to the defaults we're going to find our player controller class. We're going to switch it to our demo controller that we just set up. Save that. And in our demo player controller this is where we're going to set up the input. So if we go into the class settings and we look for, well actually there's two ways to do this before I go any further. If we want to just have the input already set up for us and this our player controller doesn't need to inherit from a different class then we can just use the BP radio input controller and just inherit from that but just in case you already have a player controller that maybe it's in CPP or you know C++ or maybe it's you know for some reason you don't want to do inheritance you just want to use the interface we can do that all right I radio input that's the um Inter interface you're going to want to add so class settings add interface compile it there's only one function and instead of trying to draw all the nodes what I'm going to do and what I suggest you do it's totally your call but I would go into generic radio menus blueprints and then find the radial input player controller and in here we're so, we go to the get joystick direction we can see that all of these functions and, and nodes are already there. And what it's going to do is if it's if the um, the radio menu asks for left stick or right stick, it's going to do a switch on that enum and output the correct info. And the left thumbstick gets inverted, and so it's just it's easier to copy and paste in this situation instead of having to worry about some kind of bug that could come around from this. So we'll um, copy it, paste it, make sure you connect stick to the selection here. Then we, uh, we want to duplicate control W, the return node. So with the left stick out here, connect these two and connect the reroute there. And what this is going to do in a nutshell, is the radial menu itself is going to set, ask for the player controller and it's going to see if it influences this interface and if so it's going to ask for joystick input for whatever input it's bound to and that's that's all you need for input if um, we don't have a radio menu set up right now but if we did it would work and uh, before we go any further we got to remember that our game mode I'm gonna set it for the whole project here it needs to be set to demo game mode which is or whatever we just named the menu not menu but the mode so yeah set the player controller in the game mode set the game mode and you know implement one function that's your input and that would make it where you're able to control the menus Okay, in the next video, we're going to go over how to actually make the input work on a, a menu. So we're going to make a menu 
that has a radial to it. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.